it was a cold Friday morning, and everyone was just getting ready to start work on the railway. The mail cars were almost done. They just needed another set of buffers and a new coat of paint. And Philip brought the stuff from the mainland for them. And Nia had to take a goods train to the mainland. And the Greg van, the Pound of Queens team, was coming up in the back. And they don't like that at all. And they never liked that in the first place. But everyone knows they need a Greg van in the back of their train. And there's only one Greg van in Hauser Yard. But the narrow gauge railway also has one Greg van. And more should be coming soon. When Howling the Queen's team is using their brain pen, a back lamp gets added among the coaches or cars, and the double decker coach gets one for its own. And Brady, five, and his friends were just waking up as Thomas went to collect Annie and Clarabelle. <sighs> morning, guys. It's cold this morning, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It sure is cold this morning, Thomas. And the snow will be coming soon. Yeah, November is in two weeks, so expect some snow coming soon. And the engine's wearing snow plows. Oh, yeah, right. <sighs> well, good thing me and Bobby Swift will be heading to Daytona today. And Master Dog will be coming as well. Oh, that's cool. And I might be coming there too. Really? Yeah. Well... I'm not sure it's official yet that I'll be coming with you. Well, I think I should go figure out if I will be coming with you. But Thomas wasn't the only one going to be working at somewhere for a while. James was going to be working at somewhere for a while as well. Hey, James, are you going to be working at where I am going to be working at for a while? Hmm, possibly. Just then, the air conductor arrived. All right, Thomas and James, since a lot of trains are not doing passenger runs in Daytona, I need you two to do most of them. Wow, do you hear that, guys? We're going to Daytona. Yeah, Daytona's in Florida, where we used to live. Well, I'm glad you Florida coaches will be glad to be back there again. And I'm sure the passengers will be glad to see you again. All right. You two must get going. Yes, sir. All right, class. It's just after another long day. And next week, I'm not going to be here next week. Because I'm going to be on vacation. So you have a substitute teacher. Well, I would expect the Russia substitute teacher would be the one. Right, Creeper? Yeah, I feel like he's been teaching us while the teacher is away a lot. Yeah, he sure has been. But luckily, we don't have to listen to him as we head to Daytona tomorrow. And we'll be there for the week. Yeah. <laughs> and will Yoda and Jeffy will become with us? Um, no, um, they'll be heading to the cottage with, um, the Yoshis. Oh. Yeah, Forky's right. We do that every year, Creeper. Well, not really. This will probably be my first time going to the cottage with the Yoshis and Jeffy. And will you be there for a week? Like, me and Forky will be in Daytona for a week? Yeah, you got that right, Creeper. Well, I hope your vacations go bad. <laughs> Creeper, can you throw Duncan Kong the border? Because I gotta get going now. Sure, Yoda. <coughs> <sighs> so we do have to get up around four in the morning and everything so that we can look around um, the airport and, um, well... There's two airports we're going to explore at. 
like um, two airports we never seen before. Yeah, he got that right. And after we leave the airport in Daytona, we'll have Wendy's for lunch. Well, it would be um getting close to noon, I think, when we um leave the airport. Well, it could be possibly getting close to noon when we leave the airport in Daytona and everything. Well, I think it's time we get some sleep, Reaper. We gotta get up early, around 4 in the morning, like you already heard. Good night. <sighs> Good night, Forky. Huh. It's time we get going to the airport. All right, then. Let's go. All right, then. All right, now that we're on the plane after we checked out the airport. So, what did you think of it, Creeper? It looked great, Forky. And I got the window seat so I can look out the window. And I'm sitting next to you, Forky. And I'm gonna be behind my twin so I can see if um, he's annoying Piggy. Well, I think I'll see them back there a few times. Yeah, I think I will too. Well, I see that we're the air, and I feel like the sun is now rising. Well, it should be rising over there, Creeper. Yeah, Forky's right. It's rising over there. Um, I see. Well, uh, well, it's now eight o'clock, and it seems to it's now lighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Driving a train. Oh, cool. What train is that thing, a person? It's the Emerald Knight. And my twin says this train would be really good working on the railway. But a coach arrived a while ago. Well, it would be cool if the Emerald Knight was working on Hogsley Yard. That's for sure. Well, huh. hey guys, we're here. Well, glad you can make it, Forky. Yeah, I'm now here. <laughs> hmm. So, how's your time in Daytona so far? It's going on good, thank you. And where's Creeper and the two finger persons? Oh, they're checking out the hotel. I just came here to say hi. Oh, okay. And while well, you're here, can you um, take Max? To the hotel? Yeah, sure, I can do that. Come on, Max, let's go. All right, then. And, uh, will you and the others be heading to other places later today or tonight? Yeah, possibly. All right, then. Well. <sighs> well, that was a long first day, and we should be doing some more stuff tomorrow. Like, what tomorrow? Like, um, watching the NASCAR Cup Series race at Homestead, and, uh, Maria 5, James, Jackson Storm, and Amaya should be there tomorrow, and Millie's bringing Amaya here for the day tomorrow, and Millie should be here thirsting in the morning, and they told me to keep an eye on them, and John Hernimacek, since he is replacing Bubba Wallace for one race after Bubba wrecked Kyle Larson at Las Vegas last week. Um, wouldn't Amaya just be um, at Homestead Miami Speedway tomorrow? Well, actually, um, Brady of Five and James are meeting up with Jackson Storm and Millie and Amaya tomorrow here, so clearly, um, they're just, um, heading to Homestead tomorrow to watch the race to see how well John Hernimacek does. 
and would Millie be here for just a couple of minutes? Yeah, that's right. She's got to work on the narrow gauge railway and Hogsley Yard and everything. Well, good night. Hmm. Good night. Hmm.